Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Julia Smith. Madison County is bursting at the seams when it comes to jobs and opportunities. More people are moving here, which means the need for more homes. Our Kanisha Dees is live in the studio. Kanisha, what are leaders doing to prepare for this influx? Well, Julia, you're right. You're right. This trend report is a part of what builders, elected leaders, realtors will discuss in what you would say is a meeting of the minds and hopes for a solution for this booming county. Madison is the third largest county in Alabama. Huntsville, now the largest city. And as more people move in, builders say more homes are needed. But there's a problem. The biggest thing is we just got to get the supply chain fixed. We have to get more people in the trades as well. As if the pandemic wasn't a challenge enough, add finding land. It could take over a year just to get those, those uh, farms ready for houses. Uh, last year we built close to 4,000. Builders say they need 5,000 new homes every year to keep up with the demand. So we knew we have to step it up this, this year. We have a lot of large building companies that we call production builders. There's a desperate need for apartments too, which could help provide a temporary solution. In the Huntsville, Madison County area, we have nearly 10,000 apartments under permit right now. So that's a lot of apartments coming online, and that'll help uh, ease some of that strain on the housing market that we need and more of a temporary fix. As much as it's been a challenge for builders, it's been a challenge for realtors too. It can be challenging, but we are finding homes. If a person wants to buy a house, we can find them one. And also if a seller wants to sell a house, we're certainly willing to help them with that as well. Leaders say it'll take a collaborative effort. Builders, developers, realtors, lenders, elected officials, it's gonna take all of us working together to be able to find those great solutions. I mean, Leaders will meet tomorrow morning at 8 bright and early. Looking forward to what solutions they may come up with. Julia.